Greetings. It is ice to be here today to talk about one of my most personal favorite movie franchises of all time. And along with a special edition of the three of us, me, Blitzy Fresh 100, and Kristen Parrish, all voicing different characters throughout this review to, as a little bit of, you know, for comedy purposes. Ice Age is a CGI comedy adventure film serving as the very first by Blue Sky Studios under 20th Century Fox and directed by Chris Wedge. It centers around a trio of prehistoric animals on a journey to return a human baby back to his tribe. Though things take a turn for the worse when Smilodon leader Soto wants the baby in revenge for the murder of his pack. Along the way, Manny the Mammoth, Sid the Giant Ground Sloth, and Diego the Smilodon soon start to develop a strong friendship. Unlike the sequels, this is the only one to have a perfect score on Rotten Tomatoes from both critics and audiences. Since they loved it so much as I did, mostly due to how emotional of a roller coaster it really put us on. From scenes like the cave drawings that showed us the tragic loss of Manny's family, Diego succumbing to his injuries from Soto, and returning the baby, it sure did bring me to tears, which became the reason why I rarely watched the first Ice Age movie way long ago. But it was still a part of my childhood. Oh, geez, yeah, I, I really do appreciate you saving my life back there. I could have been some roadkill, man. Could you even imagine anybody eating me? Shut the hell up, you pussy. That's why you need me in life. <laughs> oh, I think you need to get some, like, anger issues out because you clearly are not very friendly. Shut up. Okay, oh, let's see here, let's see. I'm gonna call you Manny the Big Old Butthole, or Manny the Big <gasps> but, uh, Don't hurt me. I will, but just don't get in my way next time. Okay, all right, let's see here. You, first, you need to make a lesson on friends, and second of all, well, you need to fix that attitude. I was grateful to be introduced to, biz to the bizarre likes of Ray Romano, John Leguizamo, Dennis Leary, Jack Black, Diedrich Batter, Stephen Root, Cedric the Entertainer, and surprisingly, Tara Strong, before watching Fairly Odd Parents, of course, if I remember correctly. I eventually was equally impressed and surprised to learn that Scrat the Sabertooth Squirrel was voiced by director Chris Wedge, who also played one of the Dodos and three years later would voice both Wonderbot and a phone booth in Robots. What I enjoyed even more was the merchandise, such as this coloring and activities book and these stuffed animals I would rather get from a store or from a claw machine game. <laughs> there go. Hey, what the hell? Oh, we're, we're getting close as usual. Woo! What are you doing here, Zeke? Oh, look at this. It looks like I fell into a little gay club. I'm not Ooh. gay. What Ooh. are you two doing here? I smell something. It's not Diego this time. I smell something big and juicy. <laughs> there's more meals, you know. Yeah, there's a mess. And there's also a slot, too. Ooh, I like you. Shut, shut, shut up, shut up, shut up. Just shut up, you fucking dickhead. Just be patient and go now! I first watched Ice Age on a quadruple disc with other movies like Dinosaur, Bay Pig in the City, and Home on the Range. The first and third ones I would see later on as I grew up. And I never forget the first time how I saw it, which I will show you or remind you right now. Goosebumps every time. 
The other elements, like the characters, are very memorable, like Manny being both sarcastic and crotchety, Sid being one of the best examples of comic reliefs, Diego going from double agent to fully redeemed Smilodon by the end of the movie, and Scratch serving as the resident wily e. coyote in the entire franchise who can't ever catch a break or bury his nut. My personal favorite scenes include the slide scene in the ice cavern, the traveling montage set to the song Send Me On My Way by Roosted Root, then there's the iconic theme song, once the movie shows the animals migrating. Well, I don't know how I felt when I first watched the with Riddle, but after watching a few times, when I grew up, it's a really good movie, um, a lot of great actors, a lot of great characters, a lot of great moments, a lot of funny moments. Yeah, Ice Age is um, by far one of the best chocolate movies ever. My opinion, yes. Uh, as same as Christian. Yeah, a great movie, like, even like the upcoming ones, but the first one, the scene, you know, seems like really awesome, and yeah, with the actors, with Ray, Dennis, and John, they did, all three of them they did great. Every time when I'm done watching, I always like to stick around at the end credits, looking at the cave drawings, which is a very cool feature to put in a movie, and I do this for the rest of the sequels that would soon come by. The biggest controversy that I've heard most of way long ago when people look back on this movie is the baby. I honestly have no issues or bad thoughts about him, cause of course, I was too nostalgic on watching Ice Age from time to time. Though I was still shocked to the now aforementioned gorgeous and talented Tara Strong voiced him. But not only him, she also voiced a young Start who was playing Extinction along with his friends at the beginning of the movie. Mm, what I like most about it, I mean, with these certain kind of movies, like, yeah, at first, you know, we get used to the characters, they don't like each other at first, but throughout, they just share, like, their stories or, like, whatnot, and, like, at the end of the movie, it's just, like, so good, like, they become friends at the end, even though, like, they might have problems here and there, but it's still good in my opinion. Yes. Even though it gets a little awkward and a little uncomfortable when characters at first like hate each other but soon like develop more at the end of you know at the end of the day or end of the story kind of like you know remember the titans and role models and let's, let's see here uh what's, what's, what's another one um shrek kind of yeah uh, because it's just <laughs> really 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 uncomfortable but here's the weird part even though um, people might, you know, like each other by the end of the story. I just kind of still think that it was like entertaining when they don't like each other for some strange reason. I don't know why. So, uh, where'd you find him, dude? Well, ladies, I clearly saved him when the geysers were about to go off, so I just had to do it. Ooh, you're a strong, sexy man. Well, yes, and I clearly do have him with me. I am a hero and not doing it for the booty. Never mind, lady. And I'm clearly I'm a hero, and I'm clearly Sir, not... Sir, that's my, my, my nose. That's how you're a dick. <laughs> you're not getting that baby for I am. Gotta go fast Sonic speed, bitch. What the fuck? So you've been lying to us the whole time, you son of a bitch? Yes, 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 yes. You bitch. I'm gonna stab you with your own buck teeth! Overall, the first Ice Age was one of the biggest and most important parts of me that I am happy to see in my life. Everything was 100% perfection, and as a bonus, it taught me the many ways for movies to be considered positive for everyone is through heart and effort to the best of the people's abilities.